Namaste. I'm Dr. Shweta Anand. I'm a fertility consultant having more than 15 years of practice and plenty of IVF cycles to my credit. I practice in Janessa Fertility Center which is situated in Basveshwar Nagar, Bangalore. What happens is many a times even before the patient lands up with IVF there be multiple ovulation induction cycles that have you know the patient would have taken previously maybe about 10 cycles of ovulation induction 15 cycles of ovulation inductions and probably even if it doesn't result in pregnancy they would have gone ahead with plenty cycles of IUI what happens is the more number of induction cycles that is happening if there is a family history of ovarian cancer so these people are much more prone for ovarian cancer at later point of time so People have to be very careful before undergoing multiple stimulations for maybe ovulation induction or IUI or be it IVF as well. So this is a future risk what I am explaining. What happens presently when you are taking an IVF cycle or an ovulation induction cycle? The dosage of medications and the type of uh, drugs that is being used for ovulation inductions are very safe. The drugs which is used mainly is the recombinant FSH that is the highly purified form of follicle stimulating hormone. This is quite safe. Presently what happens during stimulation is that if you are a patient of polycystic ovaries we might get plenty of eggs where which results in ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome but this happens only in about say 10% of women. When that happens it is categorized further into mild, moderate and severe. The severe ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome happens in very less of patients, maybe about 1%. So relatively IVF is a very safe procedure and the drugs which is used in IVF is also very safe. 